Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's fair. Oh, here's a mouthful. Warhammer 40k. Dawn of War 3. The open beta. Now, uh... This game, uh... Looks pretty good. Um, I did record some stuff earlier, but, um... It looked kind of bad, so I went into the settings to see what's going on. Uh, turns out, at least in the beta, you should go under your video settings and uh, ask them to detect what uh, settings are good for you. Because uh, the video I made was kind of underperforming. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure... Uh, Anyone who's played any type of real-time strategy game knows uh, what the Dawn of War 3 basics are going to be. So I'm going to show you the advanced tutorial, what to expect in Dawn of War multiplayer, and um, the army painter over the next couple of videos. Um... I was thinking about making a uh, skirmish battle, but uh, I ran one of those, and um, they can take a while. Um, so I think I'm going to hold off on that until I get some better connection. Okay, let's see here. Welcome to the second Dawn of War 3 tutorial. This tutorial will cover elite units, resource capture, line unit upgrades, and advanced combat. Ooh. We will begin by calling in an elite unit, Gabriel Angelos. Elite units are stronger than line units and possess powerful abilities. They are not deployed from base structures, but are equipped before a match and unlocked in battle by spending elite points. Deploy elite unit Gabriel Angelos to the battlefield. Now, if you're wondering, you call forth our elite, warriors, Commander. elite points are these purple ones down here. Deploy elite unit Gabriel Angelos to the battlefield. All right, one second. Now, um, let me see if I can do this. Deploy elite unit oh. Gabriel Angelos to the battlefield. I am. I'm showing the people something. Now, uh, you get three elite units to bring out over the course of a match. And their portraits are right over to the battlefield. here. Ugh. All right. Deploy elite unit Gabriel Angelos to the battlefield. The tutorial is a Gabriel little pushy. Is a powerful melee unit with crowd control abilities. He will accompany your line units and give them a decisive advantage. Gabriel Angelos is deployed and ready for combat. That he is. Take Gabriel and your line units to locate a nearby resource point. Resource points will boost your income and allow you to further build your army. Use your forces to search for the resource point. I am Gabriel. The foe is in heavy cover. Kill the enemies blocking the path to get to the resource point. Boom! The enemy is now out of your way. Press further to the resource point. Tactical Marines ready. Now this the resource point. Move your 
your units inside the resource point's capture radius in order to capture the point. All right, all right. Your units must remain within the capture radius until the capture timer is full in order to own the resource point. The point is yours. You cannot gain resources from a point until you upgrade it with an add-on. Purchase the requisition add-on by clicking the requisition add-on button over the resource point. Okay. Yeah, like the unlike the previous Donna Wars, uh the requisition generator boosts the amount okay, one of second. you gain from a point. Requisition is the resource used for purchasing vehicle upgrades and infantry units. A power generator is the second type of resource add-on that you can construct. Power is the resource used to construct infantry upgrades and vehicle units. Most upgrades and unit purchases require a little of both of these resources. Man, was this narrated pu narrator pit? Generator oh. is finished. You will now gain requisition from this resource point. Was this narrator paid by the word? Let us further increase the requisition we are getting from this add-on by purchasing the point's resource upgrade. Okay. When your point is done upgrading, the amount of resources it generates will be increased. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, some resource points have one or two or even three nodes. And I noticed one... Enemies are on their way to attack your resource point. Move Gabriel to the entry point to guard the area. I also noticed in a skirmish battle that there are one type of research point that only makes elite um, types of stuff. Marching there now. I understand. What the? Move Gabriel to the entry point to guard the area. Oh. Duh. Have my favor, Gabriel. Moving out. Oh. The might of the it shall be done. Move Gabriel to the entry point to guard the area. Kill the enemy. Tactical squad. I will not bolt up. Ah! Can't do that yet, but okay. Tactical squad. You have my favor and the emperors. And the emperors. Chapter master setting out. We are ready for war. Well, that was a little mixed up in the AI. We must now take the fight to the enemy. We will use scout squads to track down the enemy. Deploy two scout squads from the barracks. Scout squads are stealth units with a large line of sight. 
Stealth units can only be sighted by enemy detector units. Scout Marine. You have your first squad of scouts. Deploy one more. All builder units, such as the Servitor, have the ability to detect stealth units. Scout Marine. Your scout squads are ready. Before we take your infantry into battle, we will upgrade their attack strength at the Arsenal building. The Arsenal is the Space Marine's upgrade structure. Use your Servitor to construct the Arsenal. You can locate your Servitor by double-clicking the Servitor's portrait in your unit queue. Ooh. Spooky, building one event. Oh, I was wondering if you could build things faster by having more servitors. They don't really mention it in a tutorial, and I uh, didn't really notice it in the skirmish. Uh, then again, I was a bit too busy. It was quite the story. I wish I had it on video. And yes, I am kicking myself because I don't have it on video. Shall be my brother. We Use your forces to scout for enemies. Okay, will do. No, not you, you s- Use mm. stealth cover to ambush your enemies. Name your target understood and underway. Tactical Marines ready. Plasma team moving. I'm here. 
I understand. Use stealth cover to ambush your enemies. is treacherous. Use your scouts to scout out any hostile enemies ahead. Do not let your scouts become detected. Go ahead, come on. It shall be done as you like it. Ready. Understood. Okay, let's see what this heal does. Alright, did not replace my lost men, but it did bring up some health. inside that stealth cover. Use your camouflage scouts to safely scout any enemies in the stealth cover. Kill the enemies you find. Angelos, Gabriel moving out. Kill the enemies you find in the stealth cover. Tactical Marines ready. up ahead. Scout out the enemy force on the upper platform. Okay. By your lead, we embark. The enemy has captured the next resource point and built a listening post to protect it. A listening post is a structure with a ranged weapon that also protects resource add-ons from damage. Before you can destroy enemy add-ons or capture an enemy point, you must first destroy the listening post that protects it. Once the listening post is gone, you can destroy the enemy add-ons and take the point for yourself. Okay. Destroy the listening post. We are your eyes and ears. Let's see if anything has a stealth detector up here. I don't think so. All right. The might of the blood destroy the listening post. Marching there now. Angelos here, I need you. But none can stop me. I'm going to aim it at you. Fight them again. Tactical Marines under concealment. Die. Destroy the listening post. Working on it. We are ready for war. I am Gabriel, tactical squad. Secure the resource point. There we go. Well done. This completes your second Dawn of War 3 Let's tutorial. You are ready to proceed to the last tutorial which centers around Dawn of War 3 multiplayer. All right, everyone. That was the showcase of the Dawn of War 3's more advanced... Um, more advanced... Features! Features, that's the word, that's the word. Uh, in the next tutorial, they'll show us more stuff from Dawn of War 3. <laughs>
Uh, okay. Learn the mechanics of the Power Core game mode on in multiplayer. Well, I hope to jo you'll join me for that video in the ne uh, next time. This is Darkwater Framing, signing out.